breaking gulp news. In one's life come scenes that not only break their hearts but also leave a profound impression one will never forget. One of those heart-wrenching moments is when I watched Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid and his brother Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid resting the body of their brother Sheikh Rashid in his burial place at UMM Hurair Cemetery on Saturday evening. That scene broke the hearts of thousands of people gathered at the cemetery who prayed to Almighty Allah to grant the brothers and their parents the strength to overcome this devastating loss and accept Sheikh Rashid in his heavens. For me personally, the moment was one of the toughest in my life. Because of closeness to the three brothers and knowing how close they are to each other. They embody the true sense of friendship which Sheikh Mohammed has been very keen to plant in them since they were children. As I stood there, at the UMM Hurair Cemetery, I remembered my trip with them years ago when Sheikh Mohammed assigned me to accompany them to a number of leadership courses at a British university. I remembered their dealings with each other then and their discussions. That trip actually changed a lot of things in me more than it did in them. I realized that Sheikh Muhammad's purpose of that trip was not only their training but more to plant in them the real spirit of brotherhood and the eternal friendship that will not be affected by whatever happens in life. I also remembered as I stood at the UMM Hurair Cemetery among the masses who prayed to Allah Almighty to rest Sheikh Rashid's soul in peace the launch of the Dubai Cares initiative and the enthusiasm shown by the sons of Sheikh Mohammed in supporting this initiative. I particularly recall the enthusiasm of Sheikh Rashid and his efforts to make this initiative as big as the ambitions of his father. I remembered how he was insisting that his brothers participate in Dubai Cares and travel abroad in support of the project. As I remembered Sheikh Rashid's personal contribution to launching this project, I prayed to Allah Almighty that all the work he did for the millions of children who benefited from the project will be added to his good deeds as well as to his brothers and father who gave the UAE those great but also humble men, men who are loved by the people and whose goal is to serve those people. As we were bidding farewell to Sheikh Rashid for the last time, I remembered when we traveled to Switzerland to follow on some business and take part in meetings at the FIFA headquarters. I saw there a strong personality, blessed with intelligence and ambition just like his grandfather the late Sheikh Rashid, a man who loved sport and adored equestrianism, just like his father. During the trip, I got to know him better and it revealed to me a strong personality usually veiled by his modesty, a characteristic the Al Maktoum family is blessed with. The trip revealed to me a man dedicated to the good of humanity, who loved life and was set to achieve his ambitions. I remembered all that as I stood at the cemetery bidding him farewell and prayed that Allah will grant solace to his lifelong friend and brother, Sultan al Sabasi. Prayers to bear this huge loss during the last moments of Sheikh Rashid's final farewell, I prayed from the bottom of my heart that may Allah comfort Sheikh Mohammed at this time of tremendous grief and grant him solace to bear this huge loss. I prayed for Sheikh Mohammed, the compassionate and generous father who lost his child, the father whom we always see showering his love and compassion not only towards his own children but towards the people of the UAE and even people beyond our borders. May Allah grant strength and solace to Sheikh Mohammed, the man with the big heart, the great poet and the noble knight. Today, Sheikh Mohammed, we are all Rashid. During the final moments of bidding Sheikh Rashid the last goodbye, as I stood among crowds of people, I imagined how his mother, Sheikha Hind bent Maktoum, the mother of noble sheikhs and generous giver with the most compassionate heart who always gives more than what she is asked to, could endure the pain of the loss of her son. There are no words to comfort a mother who lost her beloved child except our prayers to Allah to accept him in paradise, and our prayers that may God grant his mother the patience and solace to heal the wounds of her heart and reward her for all her good deeds in this world and hereafter. Mohammed al Gurgawi is Minister of Cabinet Affairs and Chairman of the Executive Office of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum. <laughs>